Thanks for joining me tonight. Andrea, the love chef of Be Gentle Wellness. Today I'm preparing a quick dinner with fresh cod that I got from Whole Foods or you can get from your, far your farmer's market or the fish market. And it is going to be quick, easy, with a lot of fresh, delicious ingredients. So I have two cups or two handfuls of kale that I'm going to chop up really well. So you can do it, keep it as large or as small as you want. I like to make it pretty fine for this, just because my other ingredients that are going to be served with the cod are also small. But if you want to have a little bit of, you know, difference in size, that's totally cool too. So I'm quickly just chopping this up and I'm going to add it to a bowl so that I'll be able to mix all the ingredients together. But if you want to put it right in your pan, if you're you're short on time or you want to make less of a mess in the kitchen, which is always a good thing, you can do that. Now I'm going to do one bunch of asparagus. So I'm going to chop off, you want to chop off about an inch and a half from the bottom. And welcome! And I like to keep the rubber band on and then chop on this side of it because then all of the little pieces usually stay together. We'll see if it does. How are you? So I'm going to just chop off this end and now look at that, how easy we can just toss that out. Now I have my, my asparagus. I'm going to chop this pretty small because we've joined, we have chopped the kale pretty small. We had about two cups for anyone that's joining now in of kale in there. So now this will be chopped up small too and then I'm going to add some lentils. Now I've boiled some lentils that I have just left over from another meal. So if you make lentils or have cooked some, then you can use that. Or if you have a can of lentils, totally cool. So I'm going to add this asparagus into the bowl. Again, we're just doing this to, you know, get it really mixed well. Thank you for the love and the heart. So I actually have white lentils, but any lentils will do if you have orange lentils, green lentils, brown lentils, all awesome. So I'm just going to dump this in here. So this is about equivalent to one cup. And anybody, if you want to share any tasty cod recipes that you like, feel free to mention them in the comments. I'd love to hear. So look at this. Oh my gosh, this looks, this could be just a salad. It looks so good. So I'm mixing this up, get it really nice. And I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in it. Okay, and I'm also going to do some sea salt and black pepper. So it's just olive oil, sea salt, black pepper. And that's all we're gonna use to season it because we're going to be topping this with something so good. And something I've shared in another video, which you can find on YouTube if you search Be Gentle Wellness. You can search it as one word, or if you search my name, Andrea Be Gent, it'll come up and it's called the spicy mushrooms. It's my grandma's recipe. So now we have this mixture of our lentils, our asparagus, and our kale, and I'm going to just put it into my pan. Now I line my pan with olive oil. I mean, well, I have a little olive oil in there, but I do usually put olive oil, but I line it with aluminum foil because it's an easier cleanup when you have some aluminum foil, but totally your call. Now, this won't be going in long. Cod quick cooks really quickly. So that's why I also chopping the ingredients small will allow them to cook faster. So here I have one and a half pounds of cod. I am going to cut it in half just so that it'll fit into the pan. Now I have my two pieces of cod, and I'm just going to lay it right on top of our delicious kale mixture. Now I'm seasoning that as well with sea salt and black pepper. Everything needs some sea salt. Sea salt brings out flavor, and sea salt's really good for you. It has um, all the minerals and deliciousness. So here we go. Look at that. Yum! I know, I wish I could have you over for dinner. So I have, next is my secret ingredient, which is the spicy mushroom. So I'm going to now throw this in the oven for about 
around 400 degrees for about 12 to 15 minutes. You need to check with your ovens because oven times vary. So I'm going to throw this in. Yay! I know I wish you could come. I love you guys. So what we're going to top it with when it comes out, now either set the timer or look at what time you're putting it in so that you're, you follow it. What we're going to be topping it with are my grandma's spicy mushrooms. So let me show you. I've already made them here, but you can get the recipe on YouTube if you want the spicy mushrooms. So I have the mushrooms here and it has the red pepper flakes. It has, see, organic red pepper flakes, organic garlic powder and parsley with sea salt and black pepper as well. So I just fried them up in some, not really fried, more like saute, but pan fry in some olive oil. Then I added a little bit of water and the the spices. But again, you can get this on YouTube if you want to see me make it. So once the fish comes out, I'm going to plate it and then I'm going to top it with this delicious broth that's with the mushrooms and the mushrooms will be all on it and there'll be mm, delicious scrumptiousness that I can enjoy and I hope you enjoy as well if you try at home. So of course you could always, if you wanted to have some Thing more starchy, which lentils are a starch, but if you want something else, you could serve it over rice, brown rice preferably, or some sweet potato or potato. You can either mash it or a really fine dice if you want to, you know, boil it quick so that you're not making a meal that should be done pretty quickly, not take too long. So yum! So I hope that you guys enjoy that, and I will see you next time. Thank you, and I will send my love to all of you from my kitchen to yours. Thanks for joining the Love Chef. Please share your food with me if you get on if, and try to make it. Share it on Instagram. You can tag me in it, at Gentle Wellness with two S's, or on Twitter, tweet it at me with Be Gentle Wellness with one S. Thank you so much for joining. Sending you love from my home to yours. Thank you.